In doing a simple query from our current products table, we can see that we have a total of 483 products. Some products are more popular than others, and we may even have what we call a no-move skew. In other words, a product that has never been sold. Well, let's go ahead and look at the activity for all the products by running another query. Select all fields from sales invoice detail. And it looks like we have made a total of 6,960 transactions, far more sales than we have products. So it looks like we have products that have moved multiple times. Maybe some products that have moved once and maybe some products that have never moved. Each time a record appears in the sales invoice detail table means a product has sold. So why don't we look at the product ID and instead of looking at repeating data, let's put the word distinct right in front of product ID. And let's see how many different products have sold. Wow, we've only sold 60 different products. So it looks like almost all of our activity is within the same products. Well, let's find out the list of all products that have not sold. Now we could easily copy this entire list. That would be a little big. And then we could say where product ID not in and then paste that entire list in there, but a subquery would be far easier. Let's go ahead and put this entire list in there by putting this query nested inside of the criteria. And run it. Here is the list of 423 products we have that have never sold. Let's take a quick look at all of our products. Now some of these products we have created ourselves and to expand our offering some of these products were created by our suppliers and we are authorized to sell through our suppliers. Let's take a look at the list of our suppliers. Select all fields from supplier and run it. Looks like we have three suppliers. Now we're interested in finding out the names of all the products that are supplied by Lavu Connect, which is supplier number two. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, we could look here and see we have supplier one, two, three, and in a few cases we supply our own product, so we get supplier zero. Well, we could easily say where supplier ID equals two, and that would give us the result looks like 96 records. But what if we didn't want to supply the number? There was no reason to look up the number. Well, what we could do, we could say, just show me the supplier ID, where the supplier name is equal to Lavu Connect. What supplier number is that? That's supplier 2. Well, this 2 is the same as this 2, so what I'm going to do is put a parenthesis in here and cut and paste this entire query inside here as a subquery. That way when you want to change what name you're looking at, you don't need to look up the ID. You just supply the name. And here's the 96 products that are supplied by Lavu Connect. Lab 11.1, skill check 1. Some invoices are large orders with many products on them. In the sales invoice table, 10 of the 1,877 sales invoices contain more than 30 products on them. Run an aggregated subquery on the sales invoice detail table in order to find the invoice IDs for the 10 sales invoices that contain more than 30 products. Now feed those 10 invoice IDs into the criteria of the outer query. When you're done, your results will resemble the figure you see here. Skill check two. 
write a subquery which will feed employee IDs into an outer query of the employee table. Show the employee records only for those employees who have found grants. When you're done, your results should resemble the figure you see here. Skill check three. Query the customer table using a subquery which shows all the customers who have purchased. Hint, everyone appearing in the sales invoice table has bought something in JProco. The query should show all customers who have ordered at least once from JProco. If a customer has ordered multiple times, make sure they still only appear once in the result. When you're done, your screen should resemble the figure you see here. That's a wrap for lab 11.1 on basic subqueries. Next up, 11.2, correlated subqueries.